Greetings, dear family. Jesus began speaking. My brides, it will not be long now. Please do all you can before the trumpet sounds. Time is running out. All is ready. Any moment now. You will be opposed, but call on me and I will put a stop to it. Thank you for using your weapon. Use it all the time, beloved. These are filthy, disgusting spirits. The wolf spirit you just put out was causing a lot of trouble. They will send more. Just do the same with the others. You are learning, Claire. You are all learning, and I am pleased with you. Press in. There is much ground to conquer. I have felt so weak. That is a deception they have sent to you to cause you to back down from taking territory. You cannot afford to sit back and do nothing. When you do that, it is as if you've handed the keys to the vault to Satan. He is delighted when you back down. And you do not want to set that example for your children. Be faithful to the very end. Blessed Mother, I long to have your faith and demeanor. Please take us all under your wing. She is smiling. I love to hear those words, and I truly love you and am devoted to you. If only you could fathom how much you mean to me. But some day, soon, you will know. I, too, promise to never leave or forsake you. You have my word. But I don't deserve it. That's the whole description of grace, or unmerited favor. It's not about you, beloved daughter. It is about God's tremendous love for you, and he has ordained that I should work with you and bring you into perfection. Agree with him and with me in all your ways. Be flexible and obey. There is nothing more powerful than obedience. Nothing brings better results than unwavering obedience. It is a component of the fear of God and shows your unwavering respect for what matters to him. He also has given you to me for refining. Daughter, we are on the very same page. What you spoke about wanting to be like me is my heart for you also. That very sweet chromosome that you feed every day when you deny yourself the liberty to be forceful will grow and spread out, taking more territory in your genetic fabric. And little by little, you will grow in resemblance to me and our Lord. Yes, my children, you should know that when you conform yourself to the light, many graces are given you to manage your character. And as you care for your garden, it grows and becomes rich, deep, and brilliant. In the same way, when you choose to do evil, you seriously lose ground, much more ground than you gain when you do what is right. This is why even the littlest sins are very damaging. Sin is like a virus. It spreads uncontrollably fast and wreaks destruction, even on the most mature flowers plants, and trees. You can actually remodel your character by the choices you make every day. Just like is done with an old house, everything old, rotten, and not needed anymore is stripped away until only the sound parts remain. Then new materials are brought in to finish the job. This is remodeling, and it works with your DNA just as it does in the physical dimension. The more you conform to the will of the Father, 
the more graces he entrusts to you to become the saint you were born to be. It is so simple, so powerful, and so rebirthing into his glory. That is where I am taking all of you who are committed to his will. And that was the end of her message.